What's Joe kind of headspace having a lost Barry? Well, obviously devastated, um, and also worried about the gang uh, that are still there, um, uh, particularly Wally and Iris. Uh, Iris lost her fiance, um, and he's very concerned about how she's taking it all in. Um, Wally has to step up and be the Flash, if you will, along with uh, Cisco's vibe, and. We're all still dealing with metas in, in Central City, so we kind of have to keep up appearances, um, but the Flash is definitely missed. So I'm doing a lot of like emotional repairing, if you will, to start. I was going to piggyback off that. Uh, what emotional toll between almost losing Iris, what happened with Molly, and now Barry? What kind of emotional toll has that been for Joe? I mean, it's obviously devastating, but, you know, it's the theme of the show, right? Like, it's been, <laughs> it's been like... Four seasons now, and like anybody I love is gonna get snatched up, challenged, you know, thrown across the room, whatever. Like so, it's gonna be a constant worry, worry for Jeff. You know, I'm always gonna be in a position where I'm like, I need to help my kid, or I need to find my kid, or like, yeah. I need to shoot this guy because he's messing with my kid. <laughs> he's really struggled with that concept with uh, his girlfriend last season. Yeah. Like, how is that relationship doing? Um, it's going to progress. That's really all I can say. Um, she's going to be around. So, we'll see what happens. <laughs> can you talk about what it was like to do the musical this past season? You know, it was a whole lot of fun. It was, <clears throat> it was a lot of work. Um, and, but the idea that we got to be different characters than the ones we started with was really cool for me. And, like, I spent most of my time with Victor Garber. And there's nothing cooler than that. There really is so you mentioned that Wally's going to be kind of, you know, taking that flash thing. So how's Joe going to be handling this, having Wally being kind of like the lead hero now in town? Well, it's, uh, uh, Joe takes a bit of pride in both the kids because uh, Iris sort of takes over a Star Labs and she becomes more of a leader there and she's sort of calling the shots for the entire team. And Wally's stepping up. I mean, I think one of the things we did in the show that I didn't, didn't particularly love is we sort of infantilized Wally. Like, there's always the kid, the kid. Kid. Of course, he's Kid Flash, but still, um, he's a growing man. Like, so, Joe gets really proud to see Wally step up and actually you know, be the superhero that he always wanted to be. Yeah. Throughout the series so far, um, your character is sort of, you know, like, he's surrounded by metahumans now at this point. It's like at right. every, every angle, yeah. right? he's with people with powers. And with the idea that you can go into different universes, would you ever want to play a version of Joe that has, uh, that became a metahuman? I suppose I would, but I, I, but I got really used to the fact that I would never be one with power. So, you know, the more metas there are around, the more I feel good being just a regular human being. You know what I mean? Like, so maybe I'd want to stay in that, that way. Joe is quite a you know, straight shooting character, and yeah. you know, he's got deadpan reactions to the crazy stuff around him. Yeah. Um, which event do you think has taken sort of the greatest toll on him or been the biggest uh, adjustment for him? I would definitely say Barry going back into the speed force because it came out of nowhere and we didn't see it coming. Suddenly we're just like, we're, we're, we're losing you, like, just like that. We don't get a warning or anything. And we spent the whole season last year trying to save Iris. And right after we save her, Barry leaves. I think that is the most devastating thing. Does Joe find it odd at all that it's his kids getting married to each other? I think initially yes, but always knew that those two were going to be together, so it's not right. Is there an aspect of Joe's character that you're looking forward to exploring now, perhaps in the future? Well, I love the idea that like, Joe's got a girlfriend, so like that gets explored, and I, I really, really love that because I spent so much time just dealing with the kids, and the gang over Star Labs, and I have somebody at home to deal with in a good way. So, okay. One more. All right. Can you say anything about uh, your scene with Tom this season and sort of how Joe will interact with whatever version of Wells we get this season? I, well, it hasn't happened yet, but like, I don't know which version of Wells we're getting, so it depends. Like, if, if it's Harry, Joe's going to be mad. Um, <laughs> <laughs> if it's HR, I liked HR, like, I, I, I respected him. I still didn't trust him, but I respected him. So, I don't know which one is coming, but, you know, I'm sure I'll 
reaction. Yeah, we're ready. We got a lot of practice. Yeah.